Well, a few weeks ago, you know that I went and got an oak leaf ivy, and I want to tell you about its care and how I'm propagating this plant because it is so huge and gorgeous. I want more. I just can't help it. When you grow plants like this, you just keep wanting more. I'm planning on keeping this one out on my screen porch, just hanging it out there in a large hanging plant style. But I'd like to have one to put outside on the deck too. So of course the first thing I want to do is start snipping off cuttings. You do keep it snipped and cuttings made to keep it bushy. That's a nice way to keep the plant bushy. This one does have a lot of strands that um, they can grow as much as 10 feet long. But I've taken some, snipped them off, and we're gonna root those. I think I'll make a really nice plant. But this looks good, takes up a lot of the corner. Looks like I'm gonna have to rearrange the furniture in there because I don't think anyone, anybody wants to sit under that. But we'll work something out. Got a lot more plants to take out onto the screen porch too. But meanwhile, here's a little bottle of water I've got. I've got a little piece of uh, Brazil that I'm rooting also, and I'll be planting that outside in a hypertufa. But anyway, these are the little cuttings I had, and you can see where the little nodes are. I tried to snip right near a, a leaf node, plus have a leaf node that would be above. You can see the little edge, little spot where the leaves come out, that's your node. So if you snipped right near there, even if you left the leaf on the plant, you'd have the node that would possibly grow roots. Now, I don't recall ever trying to root these, but look at such a pretty plant. It has really beautiful colors and almost a hairy, furry little red stem. It looks really good. And it's oak leaf, of course, because the leaves resemble an oak leaf, like an oak tree. But it looks good. I'm anxious to try it. But it took about three weeks, surprisingly long for me. I'm used to getting roots within just a few days. But what I'm going to do is go ahead to put these into the soil. Um, and I've got this flat, almost fishbowl type uh, bottle glass that I'm going to use and I want it see-through so that I can watch the roots as they progress. I would know fairly early on if they're going to grow real well and right now unlike other plants I you can't visibly see the roots you know because lots of times I have like three or four inches of white strands growing from the bottom but these don't have that. They grew kind of differently I've not done it before, so I was kind of surprised, but I'll show you here in a minute if we can get a uh, focus well enough. Um, the node at the end has little nubs, little tiny nubs growing on it. Some of them did not develop anything, like this first strand here. I'm just going ahead and snipping it off, and I'm just gonna kind of shove it down in to get that that upper node as close to the soil level as I can. And what I'm doing here in this glass bowl is put it right against the wall of glass so that I can watch the uh, roots form. I just think that'll be interesting to watch and see that. And I'm planning to um, just kind of squish the soil around so that I can make sure I see it. Now this one, you can see the nubs. See there at the end, there's the node, and then at the bottom is the other node, but there's like little white bumps that have formed. It's a little hard to get a good focus. The camera wants to focus on something else instead of what I'm wanting to focus on. But I'm sure you can see these, or at least get an idea what to look for when you root an oak leaf ivy. But I'm just gonna kind of press this down and they feel like little hard nubs. So I don't feel like I would break them off like they, they would if they were a, one of those little delicate hairy roots. 
but I'm just pressing it down right against the side of the glass. And I've got about, I don't know, five or six strands, and they all, most all of them are doing the same thing. They have those little nodes. It almost looks like the aerial root of, um, you know, the pothos plants, philodendrons, things like that, but it's just not elongated. And I am thinking that those will elongate and make the long strand that I'm used to. But we're just gonna put these all into the glass and make them so that I can see the roots as they form right through the soil. Now, a lot of people don't use glass containers with no drainage, but I don't have a problem with it. I like to be able to look down and see what I'm doing when I make these kind of experiments. Right through the glass, I can see the roots as they form. And for me, the advantage of this is also right through the glass, I can see, does it need water? Is it dry? Is the soil dark black where it's moist? Or is it real dry and dried out? And then when you pour the water, you can see the water disperse back through there. So that's why I like to use glass and I've had a lot of success. Now this one was a little small strand that didn't develop anything. And I'm just gonna kind of press it right into the soil surface and see if I can get something to um, grow from that little node section. Hopefully that'll work. And if it doesn't, it doesn't, but you won't know unless you try. But that ought to give me a lot of new little starts that I can put outside. And as I said, I can just keep an eye on that stem and watch for roots to grow right out of the edge. Looks good. Now for now, I'm gonna put this up under the um, grow lights that are here in the basement. But later, you know, once I get some roots growing, I'm gonna put it in a basket of some kind or maybe a pedestal dish and put it outside on the deck. Probably initially under the overhang so it doesn't get the intense sunlight. But I'll just test it and see how it does. This one's supposed to perform pretty well in um, you know, dim or lower light, but we'll see what it does when it gets a lot of light. Because I've have, have experimented with a few quote unquote house plants and they do real well out in the sunshine. I think it looks real good. Now I may have one tangled mess of vines once they get to growing because those little tendrils will all entwine around each other. I think it's gonna look real good. Few days in here, just kind of getting adjusted to the soil after being in the water, and I'll have it ready. Now, um, I encourage you to share the video, share pins back on the website, and if you don't know how to share from the desktop, Right underneath the video will be the share button and then you just choose one of these that you want to share through. Just click on it and it automatically brings you to your sharing area. You can share in a group, on a page, on your own private page, whatever you want to share. And all you do, post to Facebook and that's done. Thanks a lot if you decide to share.